Good evening, welcome to the Daily Office, and thank you for joining me. This is Night Prayer for Thursday, November 10th. It's the 25th week after Pentecost and week 5 in our psalm cycle. The scripture for this service, Psalm 85, and James chapter 1, verse 1 through 15. And now please join me in singing the first verse of part 2 of Psalm 66 by Isaac Watts to the tune of New Britain. Now shall my solemn vows be paid to that almighty power that heard the long request I made in my distressful hour. Our help is in the name of God Most High, the Maker of heaven and earth. Let us confess our sins to God. O merciful God, we have sinned through our own faults, in our thoughts and words and deeds, and in what we have failed to do. We have not loved you with our whole hearts. We have not loved our neighbor as ourselves. We beseech you, overlook our faults, and cast our sins behind your back, that we may serve you and praise you all the days of our lives. Amen. And may Almighty and merciful God grant us forgiveness of all our sins, and the grace and the comfort of the Holy Spirit. Amen. O oh God, come to my assistance. Make haste to help me. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Hallelujah, you have been favorable to your land. You have restored the fortunes of Jacob, Leah, and Rachel. Hallelujah. Psalm 85, and please recite it with me. Hallelujah, you have been favorable to your land. You have restored the fortunes of Jacob, Leah, and Rachel. You have forgiven the iniquity of your people, and you have covered all their sins. You have taken away your wrath, and you have turned yourself from the fierceness of your anger. Restore us, O God, of our salvation, and cease your anger toward us. Will you be angry with us forever? Will you prolong your anger to all generations? Will you not revive us again, that we may rejoice in you? Show us your mercy and grant us your salvation. And I will hear what you have to say, for you will speak peace to your people and to your saints, but let them not turn again to folly. Surely your salvation is close to us that fear you, that glory may dwell in our land. Mercy and truth are met together. Righteousness and peace have kissed each other. Truth shall spring from the earth, and righteousness look down from heaven. You give all that is good, and our land shall yield her fruit. And righteousness shall go before you, and shall set us in the way of your steps. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, you have been favorable to your land. You have restored the fortunes of Jacob, Leah, and Rachel. Hallelujah. A reading from the letter of James, chapter 1, beginning at verse 1. James, a servant of God and of the Lord Jesus Christ, to the twelve tribes in the dispersion, greetings. My brothers and sisters, whenever you face trials of any kind, consider it nothing but joy, because you know that the testing of your faith produces endurance. And let endurance have its full effect so that you may be mature and complete, lacking in nothing. If any of you is lacking in wisdom, ask God, who gives to all generously and ungrudgingly, and it will be given you. But ask in faith, never doubting, 
for the one who doubts is like a wave of the sea, driven and tossed by the wind. For the doubter, being double-minded and unstable in every way, must not expect to receive anything from the Most High. Let the believer who is lowly boast in being raised up and the rich in being brought low, because the rich will disappear like a flower in the field. For the sun rises with its scorching heat and withers the field, its flower falls and its beauty perishes. It is the same way with the rich in the midst of a busy life, they will wither away. Blessed is anyone who endures temptation. Such a one has stood the test and will receive the crown of life that the Lord has promised to those who love him. No one, when tempted, should say, I am being tempted by God. For God cannot be tempted by evil, and he himself tempts no one. But one is tempted by one's own desire, being lured and enticed by it. Then when that desire has conceived, it gives birth to sin. And that sin, when it is fully grown, gives birth to death. Do not be deceived, my beloved. Here ends the lesson. And now let us pray in the words our Savior taught us. Our beloved, which art in heaven, holy is your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us as we forgive others. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Let us pray. We praise you, O beloved God. For you forgive our iniquity and blot out our sins. You have withdrawn your anger and become our salvation. Turn our hearts and grant us your peace. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Bless Jesus, my soul, and may the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us all now and forever. Amen. Hallelujah.